you know what I mean? Can I have a box? Can I get a box, man? <laughs> it's not even funny. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Ali is finally back. We did film again previously, and unfortunately, I decided to format my memory card. You did, Harry, yeah. So Conveniently considering he tabled us as well. No, I mean, you called him one of the <laughs> Five Dark Elder Warriors left isn't really a lot to... Uh... It's not far off. So, of course, in typical Ali and Harry fashion, it's got to be Dark Elder versus Imperial Guard. It's been a while since I've used the Dark Elder. I think I've only used them two or three times over the last couple of months. And that you get back in the game. You do, yeah, because I mean, it's the channel name, isn't it? Of course it is. The Dark Elder, unfortunately, is not coming out today. Ali said he hasn't got much to do with Toughness 7, and I'm looking across the board and thinking, mmm, <laughs> yeah, kind of wish I'd put them in now. Uh, so we've literally, I've literally just crammed everything else other than the Dark Arts and the Corpse Thief into the list. I'm, I'm glad to hear it, because I, mean, I, I can't hurt them, but it's, I don't have Beast on the shelves is what I meant. There's no Lehman Ross. Yeah, there's not a single Lehman Ross in this entire list. So, hopefully, we should have a Banterfield game. Hopefully, yeah. Have you got your crate ready to stand next to us? Um, no, I don't have a box, I'm just going <laughs> to jump. Because <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah. The Commissar hasn't even got his hat on no, the coat. Where is it? Where is it? I haven't got the hat on coat. Mm, I don't know. At home I somewhere. don't know if I like the bandana. No, I well, don't know. There ah, who cares? It's a bandana, right? Yeah. Right, let's have a look at the armies. Yeah, indeed. Right guys, so here we go, 2,500 points of Dark Eldar, all set to take on Ali's Imperial Guard on this destroyed planet. We're in the Real Space Raider Detachment plus two Homunculus Covens formations. So, leading the charge, we've got an Archon with Shadow Field, Husk Blade, Soul Trap and Blast Pistol. She is kitted out to the eyeballs and she's hopefully going to do some damage. Her Warlord trait is a 12 inch bubble of Felis. I did re-roll, but unfortunately got the same. We've then got a Succubus with an Archite Glaive, and I've just forgotten as well, this girl has Haywire Grenades and the Armour of Misery. And uh, this girl has Haywire Grenades as well. Uh, in the Fast Attack section, we've got a unit of 10 Chimera and a Beastmaster with an Agonizer. We've got five, a unit of five Scourge with four Haywire Blasters. We've got a unit of nine Reaver Jet Bikes with three Cluster Caltrops. The Arena Champion has the Agonizer there. For troops, we've got two units of 10 Camelite Warriors in Raiders with Splinter Racks and Night Shields. One of the units has a Blaster in there, and both of them have Splinter Cannons. In Heavy Support, we've got a Ravager with Triple Lance and Night Shields, and of course the Forge World Reaper with Night Shields as well. We've also got a unit of five Mandrakes. And the final fast and heavy support options, we've got a Razor Wing with Night Shields and Dark Lancers. And we've got the Void Raven with the Void Lancers and Void Mine, again with Night Shields. Formations, we've got a Grotesquerie with Yuri and Rakarth. There is an Arborition, which will be this guy here, uh, between the two units. They are in two Raiders with no Night Shields. And then finally, we've got a Scalpel Squadron in two Venoms with an Ossifactor in each of those. Right guys, it's Ali here. Welcome back to the channel. Here's my Imperial Guard Army. 2,500 points. We're playing against Harry's Dark Elder. I'm running three formations and a CAD. So I'll start off right here at the back here. We've got the Emperor's Spear Aerial Formation. We've got two Vendettas and a Valkyrie. Vendettas are stock and the Valkyrie's got multiple rocket pods and a multi las Down here I've possibly got my most favourite formation out of the Mont Crab book. It's the Emperor's Wrath Artillery Formation. And we've got the Company Command Squad down there. The Company Commander's got Volkov's Cane. At the back we've got a Death Strike Missile. Two Hydras, the Tech Priest, and he's got a Trojan transport with him. Across here, I've got the Emperor's Blade Assault Company. So we've got a Company Command Squad. And they've got two Plasma Guns, a Heavy Flamer, and a Vox. And their Chimera is a Dozer Blade. 
There's a hellhound with this formation here. And it's got a dozer blade. Got ten veterans. Naval got shotguns, two flamers, and a plasma gun. And the sergeant's got a bolt pistol. And their Chimera's got a hull heavy flamer and a dozer blade. This squad here has got two plasma guns, a heavy flamer, and a box. The sergeant's got a bolter. And their Chimera's got a hull heavy flamer, turret heavy bolter, and a dozer blade. And the third veteran squad, they've got two melter guns, they've got demolitions. The Chimera's got a turret heavy flamer and a dozer blade. And the CAD, got a company command squad here with a Vox, two plasma guns, a flamer, and a bolt pistol on the company commander. And they've also got the Talon upgrade, which gives them move through cover and the reroll ones in the shooting phase. The troops choice, we've got a veteran squad here, the sergeant's got a bolter. It's three plasma guns and a Vox in there, and they've also got the Talon upgrade. So I've got two more veteran squads at the back here. They're literally just armed with las guns and a flame reach, and each of them is mounted in a Chimera. The heavy support is a Wyvern, and for fast attack, we've got two armored Sentinels, and they've got an auto cannon each. The plan basically is this company command squad and the veteran squad are going to be arriving out the flyers but everything else just sits in its transport moves about harasses the enemy hopefully takes some objectives should be a good fun game right guys here we are after deployment today's mission is straight up cleanse and control the Imperial Guard have been trying to cleanse this world of the Dark Eldar. The Vendetta has been coming into land on the Sky Shield that's been set up. The Dark Eldar fighters have shot it down. There is information and intel. Servo skulls scattered across the battlefield. There is six. We've got number two. Number one. Number six just down here on the Sky Shield. Number five in front of the Aquila strong point. Number three. And objective number six is the key intel here at the crash site. So, Ali won the roll off. He is deploying first. And I don't even know what's in this. But Ali, do you want to talk us through what's where? Yeah. Roughly? Um, the Chimera's over this side is the Emperor's Blade assault formation. And I've got a veteran squad, a command squad, a veteran squad another veteran squad. The command squad here, this is me Warlord, and he's rolled Master of Fate as his Warlord trait, so hopefully I can get some good juicy re-rolls on the points with that. Nice. I've got a Wyvern parked here from me CAD. The artillery's here, I've got two Hydras with the Command Chimera and a Sentinel hiding them in front. Hellhound from the Emperor's Blades over here, I've got another Sentinel. Two more Chimeras with just basic veterans inside the Flamer each. There's a Trojan with the engine here. Uh, death strike parked in the corner there. And that's our horrible ignores cover oh, orders yes. thing. Yeah, but well, at least this size. At least you've kept it away from the Hydras. Yeah. Because you're nice, aren't you? I am nice. In reserve. Yeah. In reserve, I've got two Vendettas and a Valkyrie. And there's a veteran squad in the Valkyrie and a command squad in one of the Vendettas. Nice. Meanwhile, my counter deployment, I've got Chimera here with the Beastmaster. I have the Archon, the Succubus, and three of the Grotesque here. In this one, I've got Yuri and Rakarth and the other Grotesques. And I've got the unit of nine Reavers. And that is it. Everything else is in reserve, apart from these infiltrated Mandrakes. As it stands, Ali does our first turn. Now, normally, he batters the living crap out of me <laughs> on turn one until my reserve decide to come in. The Scourge are on Deep Strike Reserve, as are both Poison Boats. I thought about leaving them on the table, but I figured he'd probably end up shooting them down. And Footslog and Dark Eldar are useless. Footslog, Footslog, Footslog. No, the Ravager and the Reaper are in reserve, but they're not in Deep Strike Reserve. They're going to drive on from the board, because I need them to do something this game. You've learnt your lessons. I've learnt my lessons from mishapping in the last game that we had. So, Unfortunately, Warlord Trip wasn't Labyrinthine Cunning, so I don't get to reroll. However, I do want knife fighting, for obvious reasons. Yeah, go for Abbott's 
Nope. Nope. Right, seize the initiative. Go on then. I need this. I need this bad. I haven't stolen in a while. There we go. So Dark oh. Eldar, turn one. Right, turn one, we have Drew Supremacy Control. Three objectives. Big Game Hunter. Destroy vehicle. Pin all of its forms. Basically, destroy stuff. Right, so as per the Scarpa Squadron rules, they deep strike turn one. So this guy is going to deep strike here. First, hopefully claim that objective on the way to supremacy and if I can open up one of these cans hopefully kill some fleshy meat inside uh, that's definitely cocked so back six inches probably gonna get me in the ruins we'll measure that and come back to that one in a second right so unfortunately that does put them right in the wall and I can't place the model and be more than an inch away from the chimera so that is a deep strike mishap six ongoing reserve I'll take that However, I'm going to deep strike the second Venom straight there. And it goes forward four inches, and I'm probably just going to be out of the three inches I need for that. So it's a case of do I get the racks out in the movement phase or not. Right, so after that deep strike mishap, the other Venom has landed. The beasts have ran forward. They are going to control this objective here. The Mandrakes have got a small move through cover just to control that objective. I am unfortunately out of range of that one. I'm going to stay in the Venom in the hopes of, well, not getting the racks tied up with a Sentinel, I suppose. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, over this side, this Raider has leapt forward, then turbo boosted just to control objective marker one. And this one has Urian Rakarth in there, uh, and he is going to not be controlling that one, but at least he's going to be right there because I need rid of that horrible guy and that missile. Thankfully, the missile will not double out the grotesques in this turn, this game, because the grotesque rolled on their combat drugs and got toughness 6. So that is handy, but still, if they get stuck with them, <laughs> not pretty at all. So that is it. I don't score anything apart from supremacy, because I control uh, two objective markers and twice as many as Ali, because he only holds one. Well, I did hold one, you can test it now. Isn't that OPSEC? Oh, no. Oh, you, you, you don't OPSEC. OPSEC. I don't. Oh, so I control So you control that one, yeah. I control this one, this one, and this one. Yeah. So that's one, three. D3, I get one point. Right, so my turn one, three cards are Secure Objective 4, Secure Objective 5, and Kingslayer. Number four is over there, and number five is over there. So they're not happening anytime soon, but next turn maybe, or the turn after. In the movement phase, this came out just sat still, just waiting to unload everything to there. This sentinel came stomping towards there. Hopefully maybe we're gonna get a cheeky charge in. We'll see how he didn't look too happy. No, because me grots are fearless <laughs> and they're gonna get stuck. This chimera went forward 12 inches towards that objective there. The Hellhound went smashing through the wall of this ruin here, passing his difficult terrain test. This Sentinel clambered forward over there. That Chimera stayed still. This Chimera went forward six inches through the wall there and passed his test. And this Chimera here went round the side of the building, drawing a bead on those dogs. Hopefully they're going down. Sure. Right, so Ali's gonna issue Ignore's cover from this guy on which Hydra? This Hydra here. Nice. So leadership. Leadership um, is Ten. seven, but it only fails on a double six because it was warrior. Right. Goes off. Yep. And the same order onto this Hydra here. Lovely. Goes off. And that's me orders done because everyone else is inside transports and can't receive. No problem, let's have a look at the shooting phase then. Right, so that Hydra there around the corner of the building is going straight for the Venom. There's no point in me jinking because it ignores cover. <laughs> so, four shots. Uh, Skyfire means that you do hit normally. Yeah, because you're a skimmer. Uh, you're a skimmer. And I've so got three, three hits. Strength seven, it's an auto cannon. Yeah, armor value. Ten. Paper armor, that's two pens. Two pens, two five ups. And it's gone. Does it explode though? Because it's that's over the top. top no. no. So, five racks are going to jump out. Yeah, right, yeah. so, the other Hydra 
is going to shoot this, and even though you can barely see him, right? Barely see him because of the statue, the, the, the sky <laughs> shield, the ruin, or the guard tanks. He ignores cover entirely. It does. So, four shots, hit my fours, twin. Oh, yes. On my turn? Yeah. Gone. Open topped. Uh, no, it's no. Three plus one, so. Still gone, which means that the Archon, the Grotesque, and the Succubus are going to have to get out here as well. So, guards are firing the flamer out yep. into the radar. Into the radar? No problem. So, the flamer is strength four. Yeah. So, sixes to damage the radar. Nothing. There is four guys inside. So, it would be D6 anyway, wouldn't it? D6, yeah. Six. six. So, it's toughness six. You're needing sixes to wound. It's not bad. But I do have feel no pain. One wound, feel no pain on a grotesque. Sorry, it's randomly allocated, but Urian has feel no pain as well. So it's all the same feel no pain. Though. Yeah. So there we go. Right, so the Chimera firing at the Raider itself. The Raider will jink. Right, and we did a heavy bolter. It's two hits. Strength five, so we're needing five and sixes. Oh, two, two glances, four, because no night shields. One goes through, so it's down two whole points. And we'll do the multi lars. Yep. It's two hits. Yep. Strength six. That's one, one pen. pen. Four. Goes through. We got the Harriet's cocked. Goes through. Open topped. Nope. So that's stunned. stunned. So I can't move and it's down to one whole point. And heavy bolt are from the Trojan. Yep. Still jinking. One hit. Yep. Fives. Glance. Glance. Wow. And you destroy it. Wow. So they're out as well. Wow. You wrecked me transports already. Yeah. <laughs> Not oh. as dramatic as last time. Last time it was on explodes, explodes. Yeah. Fire. Damage everywhere. Right, let's get those guys out. Right. Right, so this chimera moved full 12 inches, so it's going to snap fire, but Ali's going to shoot the multi lars and the lars cannon array at these grotesques right. here. I'll do the multi lars first. Six is one hit. Yep. Toughness six, aren't you? Yep. So four, nothing. And then I'm going to fire las guns. I'm going to fire the three there, so that's six shots. I'm going to fire another two guys out the back. Yep. So it'll be another four shots on top of that. All snap firing. And then it'll need sixes again. Six so sixes followed by sixes. Wow. Three. Sixes again. Nothing. Nothing. So no damage there. It is worth noting that these guys are fearless thanks to me, Warlord Trey and Urian being part of the detachment for them as well. Anything else over here? Yeah, I'm going to fire that Sentinel at those ones there because he can't these see. These ones? Yeah, he can't see. Auto cannon? Yeah, it's the standard auto cannon double miss. And that's it? Yep, over on this side of the board. No problem, what's happening over here? Um, you just told me a little dirty trick that any enemy, any enemy units within six inches of an objective, this formation gets preferred enemy against. They do, and they're loading up the flamers and plasma guns and... So basically... Juicy but, stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with this heavy flamer here. For four. Toughness. Uh, toughness four. Toughness four, so I need threes. Threes, that is two. 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 Feel no pains. Two die. And what's next? Um, I'll be snap firing the heavy bolter. Yep. That's one hit. Even three again. One wound, feel no pain. Nope, that's another one gone. And I'll be firing the flamer from the back. Just be clipping one, won't it? Just one, yep. So I'll need a four first, get a standard flamer. Nothing. Nothing, yep. Um, and I'm gonna double shoot a last gun from the back as well. Cool. Two hits, toughness four, maybe fives. Reroll the one. Just the one. Feel no pain. In fact, is it AP6 a last gun? Dash. See if you get an arm save. I think, I've got, I think they've got a six up save. We'll double check that. Uh, but if I, if I pass the feel no pain, otherwise I might die. I'll double check. It's been a while since I've used the racks. Right, so that Hellhound is torrent, apparently. So that is four dogs. Is it strength six? Is strength it? six, AP4. Nice. Luckily, I've got a five influence. So strength six. Mm. Two. Can you re-roll the ones? I can re-roll the ones, because that's part of the formation. It's four. Oh. Five ups. Uh, so that kills three, and it will be the closest three, which will be those there. Right, what's next? Heavy bolter from the uh, Hellhound again. Yeah. The dogs. Uh, two two hits. hits. Needing threes. Two more. Two again. One more goes down. 
Right, so multi last from the command chimera at the dogs. You can only see the one. So, can we kill one? Two hits. Two twos, two. Two wounds, five up. Nope, kills one dog because he can only see one. Meanwhile, yes. the chimera coming around the side of the building over here. Gonna fire at the dogs. Yep, multi las and las chimera as well. So, multi las, two hits. Yep. And two wounds. Oh. Boom. And two plasma guns from the back. Yep, gets there. Uh, oh, you've got preferred enemy as I well. That's right, they missed. <laughs> right. What about that sentinel? Did he shoot it? He hasn't shot yet. He's going to fire at the two. The two racks. The racks. Oh, yeah. they've done nothing to you. Not yet, they haven't. So he's going to fire at the racks, hopefully, finish them off. Two hits. Yep. Feel no pit in. He's got his foot on you. Yep. Yes, Pass one, good. fail one. So unfortunately, the guy with the awesome factor does go down. I believe that is nearly everything. Heavy bolt from there hasn't fired, has he? No. I haven't done him. His heavy bolt will go, wide went to go, and that's it. Right. So his heavy bolt up. Yep. Into the dogs. Yep. Three shots. Three hits. Yep. Three's preferred oh. enemy. Sweet. There oh. we go. Three five ups. One more dies. Closest one, probably that one. Yeah. He's half face forward again, isn't he? Right. And now we're going to do the wyvern. Oh no, it's a horrible barrage thing, isn't it? And it ignores cover. Really? Yeah. Strength 4, AP 6, Shred, ignores cover. Right, well, I'm going to quickly check some rules for the Mandrakes because, it, like I said, they don't come out very often. Yeah. Tell you like that. Right, so these guys don't have Feel No Pain. With this ignoring cover, I think Ali's going to make a mess of this squad. Cool. It's a barrage. It's a barrage. Oh. And it ignores cover. Nice. So he's going to go here if he gets a direct hit. It's for two. That's bang on. That's two. How many flips do you get? Um, it's heavy four, so I've got another three flips to come off oh, that. Oh, God. So that's Direct hits of two more. Can that swivel on there to get more under or not? You would still only get two. It's going to be two every time, uh, because of the Because I've basically right, strangled them out. Right, I can't see So that's four, six, eight. That's it. Ow. Toughness yeah. four. Toughness four. So Is that need... part of the formation? Nah. That's oh, that's all right. Then. So only four's to wound, but he's got shred. Oh. The dead, there's five. <laughs> so yeah, there, there's the Mandrakes, gone. All of them. They've done nothing to you. They touched the flyer. They tainted it with their filthiness. With their non-existentness. Yeah, non-existence is now. Right, morale yes. checks, I believe, then. Yeah, because I have fired everything. Right, cool. Rack. What's that? At six, he passes. I believe the Beastmaster is about eight. That's a pass regardless. Pass, yeah. So, that is it. I presume you've got no assault? No. Because uh, I don't think the Sentinel's within range. He's too far out. Nope, not at all. So, you don't score objective five, you don't score objective four, you don't score Kingslayer. Are nope. you keeping them all? Or do you want to discard four or five? Cause no, I'm going to the keep them all. I'm going to go ballsy. Fair enough, right, so the score is 1-1 one, one because Ali has first blood. Let's move on to Dark Eldar, turn two. Did you? Right, so I've drew death by a thousand cuts and I've got a lot of reserves coming, hopefully. So, two poison boards. Uh, one's on, one's not, but I'm gonna do two of that because one has a blaster in and one does not. So four plus it's the blaster one, no, it's the entire poison board. Uh, we've got a razor wing, is on. We've got a void raven, is not on. We've got scourge, not on. Really? <laughs> yeah. And I think that oh, ravager and the reaper. Ravager is on. Reaper is on. So that's not too bad. Not great, but. We'll see what happens with those reserves. Right, so reserves. I'm going to put this raider here, deep strike, and hopefully out of the way because it's. Uh, I'm not, probably not going to pop many vehicles. I need to get rid of them sentinels so that the rest of the combat units can stay in combat and start killing tanks. So the razor wing is going to hopefully take that sentinel out. Meanwhile, the ravager and the reaper are hopefully going to double tap and get rid of the sentinel. Here, the Venom 
from the scout squadron is going to drop there. Mm, that's going to land him straight on the terrain, so does he immobilise himself? No, he does not. Oh, he is. Nope, not happy days considering there's a hellhound right in front of us. Meanwhile, this uh, is the poison board. Direct hit, that's fine, it can stay exactly where it is. Uh, and yeah, let's move on to movement. Right, so, we've done movement. The beasts have pushed forward. There was actually another one hiding behind uh, the Aquila that I didn't see under the smoke, so we've moved him forward. The lonely rat only got a two inch move through cover to hide. Hopefully the beasts will kill one of these Chimera here. The Venom has scattered, unfortunately, unless I can pop a vehicle over here in the shooting phase, I'm not going to get to target anything with it due to poison shots. The Razor Wing will hopefully take out that Armored Sentinel. Meanwhile, the Reavers have all leapt into action, looking to hopefully take down this Chimera. I did want to move these guys across here and charge this Chimera that side. Unfortunately, I only rolled a three inch move through cover, so I pulled them back away from the Sentinel in case I don't blow it up. The Reavers I wouldn't be so worried about because they can hit and run. These guys are fearless though, so wouldn't be able to. Meanwhile, these guys got a six inch move through cover. I think we're probably going to multi assault the Trojan and the Chimera, see if we can take that out. So, shooting phase. The Razor Wing, first of all, is going to shoot two Dark Answers at the side armor of that Sentinel. Oh, joy. Do you want a jink? Seven, <laughs> seven plus. <laughs> a wobble. One hit. A wobble. Strength on ten. Bloody hell, it's an old pen. That's a pen. Uh, it's not strength 10, sorry, it's strength 8. Oh, well, there you go. It's a lance. AP2, are you open topped? Nope. Boom. Doesn't matter anyway. So, unfortunately, the Razor Wing's not going to get to use its missiles, but I don't mind taking out that Sentinel because he plays dirty. Dirty man. Not on. You do. My Codex is a 6 head. Mine's like one of the first 7th edition ones. Oh, oh boo hoo. Mine's you, older than yours. You've got, four, you've got formations. We've got 6. That's it. We haven't got money. you got Monkar. Yeah, we haven't got many in there. Anyway. We haven't got any filth. Next shooting. Uh, this guy is going to use his Storm Vortex. If I don't snap him. Is that just magnetized, is it? It is, because it's massive. <laughs> that's what she said. Yeah, that's why it's magnetized. <laughs> going to shoot the Storm Vortex at... Oh... What the hell is a Storm Vortex? Does D3 hit why it hits? Bloody hell, that's if filthy. If it hits. That's filthy, that. It is. That's scabby. Uh, let's let's go for the sentinel. I need to kill the sentinel. Does it hit? No, it misses. So that's it. Shoot and done. No. no. This yeah. guy moved six inches, so he's going to shoot three dark lances at the sentinel. Cool. Yes, you've got cover. That is yeah. three hits. That is two glances. That's not what I want. Two five ups. I feel these are gone anyway. Two whole points, are they? Yeah. They're crap. No, oh, never! And I've got nothing else to shoot at it, and I know what's happening next, and that's going to be lovely. So I am tempted to potentially charge two. I'm going to have to just do the one, I think. Um, I believe, no, that's not shooting. Blast pistol from the Archon at the Chimera. Hits, because she's ballistic skill 7. Strength 8, that is a pen. And I believe it is AP2, but you do have yeah, cover save. That statue, so it's gone out. Nope. Nope. AP2, I believe. Boom. Well, that's a six, so it's gone. <coughs> that is very, very useful. Ten guys inside there? Yep. So you. Uh, three pluses. Ten shot. Uh, ten to wounds, is it? Three's to wound. Three's to wound on ten dice. Yep. And why did I set a place with the wing there? Uh, so that's eight. Uh, I believe it's, it's something like AP. AP dash. Is it? Yeah. Right, so you've got uh, eight saves to make. Let's work that out. I'll do it. Right, so there's Ali's armor saves. He passes four. Good going. Four, I've got four armor or five up. Five up. Five armor, so that is four dead. So, that thing is gone. And Ali's going to have to place some guardsmen on the board. So I've lost four, so that's six. Up. And I've got a hell of a lot of rapid fire from these guys, so if I can kill them in the shooting phase and then assault jump out of there, that would be pretty darn good. Actually, Ali, sorry, it was five dead. There's one more here. There's another one there. There's another one there, yeah. Right, so those guys are out. We haven't rolled for their pinning check yet. 
However, we've got all this poison ammunition here, and they've got five up armor, haven't they? Yeah. AP five on poison. Nice. So, not twin linked. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, just, so that kills the unit. Right, so that is it for shooting phase for the Dark Eldar. So, assault phases. These guys are gonna assault jump. Eight inches. Don't know where they're gonna go yet, but we'll work that out shortly. However, these are gonna charge. Hmm. If I multi-charge, I don't get the plus one attack. I think I need to multi-charge. So I'm gonna go for both the Chimera and the Trojan. Four inches, that's gonna make it. So we'll have two grots against the Trojan and one against the Chimera with Urien against the Chimera as well. But what? Right, so Urien and the grots make it in there, but uh, Flamer from inside, that's three, needing sixes. Nothing. Um, They're not part of the formation for preferred nah, enemy, are they? Better pop me card and a last gun. Yeah. One. One hit. Doesn't wound. And a last pistol from him. <laughs> the engine CF yeah, nope. misses. Uh, we're also going to charge in over here with the Chimera at the Chimera. Well, then. Yeah. Them. Cool. Um, Overwatch, two flamers. How weird is that with both Chimera? Yeah, it's a Chimera fight. It's who's the most Chimera. <laughs> Armor or flesh? To be honest, I have, you, I know I'll not be with Chimeras. You did not agree with Chimeras, but I've not got the Chimera. Chimera. Yeah, but how many points are yours? 65 each. Mine are 10. Yeah, but I've got an armor value. I've got an invulnerable save. I've got an armor. <laughs> <laughs> Two flavors. One each. each. So, toughness four in you. Yeah. It's two. Oh, five up. One dies. Uh-oh. And those guys are going to charge in. Yeah, 11 makes it in, no worries at all. He can't do anything though, because he's only strength three with a poison four plus whip. So yeah, right, let's work out these assaults. Right, so down in this corner here, we've got the Arborition, and we've got a single Grotesque. That is seven attacks between the two of them, hitting on threes. Strength five, armor 10, glancing on fives. That is two glances on the Trojan. Three attacks on the Chimera from the other Grotesque. Two hits. One for fives. And nothing. And Urien unfortunately can't do any damage. That's not good for me. I was hoping to at least kill something. I was, I was expecting them both to go, to be honest. Unfortunately, because I I think because I split them up, but yeah. I needed to try and yeah, kill multiple things. Yeah, if you got for one, I think you would wade through with the actual attack and charge yeah. like. Definitely. Uh, the bikers have all spread out around here. Meanwhile, over this side, the Chimera are going to be attacking. I have 12 attacks. They've got three base plus one each for charging. Uh, I don't know, but obviously on threes with eagles. Yeah, because the cat's weapon's got one. They do. So that's not bad. There's a few misses in there. Strength force so and needing sixes, though. Hopefully, we can take this down. Two, so that is on Ooh. a single hull point. So Ooh, combat's, yeah, combat's not going the way that we want. And well, I, believe I was expecting it to be a lot, so. I need to kill something in the assault phase for pain in all of its forms to get that D3. So to be honest, I maybe should have charged these in instead of shoot them. Oh, against that camera. Ag against the, oh, the, the guardsman, because yeah. then I would have gotten the D3 for pain in all of its forms. Yeah, you would have guaranteed it, really, wouldn't you? Uh, I do score Big Game Hunter, though, for destroying the Sentinel. Mm -hmm. I do get Death by a Thousand Cuts, because uh, score one victory point at the end of your turn if at least one model is removed from three different units. Uh, I didn't do that. Yeah, you did. Two. Sentinel, Chimera, and Squad. I did. Mm -hmm. So, so that's that. Three. That is, uh, that's only one victory point for three. It's all right though, you, you, you got that. Uh, big game hunter, I actually killed two vehicles. Uh, so I get one point for that. Pain in all of its forms, uh, destroy at least one enemy unit uh, during the shooting phase or your assault phase. Uh, I didn't kill anything in the assault phase, so I don't get the D3. So I, I get three points outright for all three cards, putting me at four points to Ali's one. Let's get going. 
Right, so Imperial Guard, turn two. Ali's draw, rolling for the formation, uh, but you get to automatically pass one if you pass the first one. Yeah, so I'm going to roll for the empty Vendetta first. And it doesn't come on, I'm going to roll for the second Vendetta. And that comes on, and I'm going to get the Valkyrie to come on as well. Nice. So, let's move on to movement. Right, so the beginning of the movement phase, Ali's done his reserves. We've got, I want to say, the Valkyrie. Yeah, it's the Valkyrie. Uh, and he's deep strike these troops out of there. And guess where he's going to be shooting? Yeah, one of them too. And the Vendetta is going straight for the Razor Wing. Down here though, he's decided he's going to tank shock through the Chimera and the Rack. The Rack will move because he's now fearless with it being turn two. However, the Chimera, uh, that's leadership nine. I think that is a fail. So Beast falling back, 3d6. That's not bad. That's what, uh, nine, and 11 inches. Gets us probably to within range of those guys. There. So right, so they've moved. However, Ali does need to roll a dangerous train. Come on, roll a one. Ah, oh, so close. Those are players. Right, so Ali's moved these guys around out of combat range of the grotesque. Doesn't matter though, because I'm going to charge back in and hopefully take this flank next turn. However, he has got some flamers going to be coming out there at the Reavers. And we've got the Torrent Hellhound there as well. But these guys are going to stay no matter what because the Warlord is there with a 12 inch Fearless Bubble. And Urien is there as well to grant me the Feel No Pain. Meanwhile, across here, all of these guys have pushed forward. And of course, the Chimera have fallen back. It's going to be hard to tip this flank back, but we need to stay strong and allow Urien to hopefully sweep around. So you've got some dangerous terrains to make. Yeah, this Chimera here. Past. Yeah. This Chimera here. Uh, he's past, and the Hellhound. Fail, but Dozer Blade. That's cocked. Well, should we roll this one over here? He's fine. Nope, so he's fine. Right, orders time. Right, so the Command Chimera here, casting. What? Well, I say casting, ordering. Ordering, ignores cover on this Hydra here. Yeah. Goes Pass. off. And the next one. Under this Hydra here, same order. Goes off. Oh, close though, that's an 11. That was close, I think it's the highest I've rolled for me. Uh, Your orders. And then this one here, forwards for the Emperor. Yeah. On the He's going to order forwards for the Emperor, the veterans that have dropped out the back of the Valkyrie. Yeah. Leadership 8, they have a Vox. And so does the issuing unit. And that's still a fail. Nice. It doesn't go off. Nice. So let's move on to shooting. Right, so which Hydra's shooting first? This one here is going to shoot at the um, Ravager. The Ravager with Even three. though there's a crap ton of stuff in the way, Ignore's cover is stupid. Maybe. Right, so. Four shots. Four shots. Hit on three. Fours. Fours. Twin linked. Two, Two hits. Strength so seven. Armor 11 on Ooh, the Ravager. We've gone up one here. We have. Nothing. Oh. What's next? This Hydra's gonna fire at the little uh, at the venom. The venom there. Cool. Can't see anything else, so we might as well do something to it. Twin linked. What was that one? I Two see. hits. That's a one. Strength seven armor ten. Two pens. Uh, we've got uh, flicker field, and we fail it. So that does it explode? Open top. Boom. It does. So five guys inside alley. Toughness four. So toughness four, so wound on fours. Uh, that's two. two. Six up armor. Pass one. Feel no pain. Fail it. So one of those racks will go down. Right, so shooting phase for Ali. This chimera is snap firing and it's going to shoot into my chimera. Yes, yes. In the chimera bombs. Nothing. Nothing at all. So Next up. We'll do this one here. Yeah. I'm going to do two metal guns first because they're just in range. Yeah. Two hits for the veterans. Two dead. Can't see that. No, Two. they're not Six. dead. I have a five bin run. Oh, yeah, well, bloody for you. <clears throat> Two dead. Uh, it would be him anyway. Yeah. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll look out to see if it kills both the dogs. And uh, no, it kills him and one of the dogs. And then we'll do the heavy bolter. Yep. Three shots. Two hits. Yeah, because you're not within. No, you're within six in the objective. Because that dog will be within. You don't have to be ah. So I'll be rerolling the one for the third enemy. Horrible formation for another one. Is that three hits, is it? No, one. Another one. 
<coughs> two threes, hits. two involves. Kills him. There you go. Sweet, now I need to replan what else I was doing. I'll do the heavy flamer from that chimera over that rack. From inside the chimera? Yeah, from that hatch there. Yep. Wounds. Dies. That was feel no pain, unfortunately, killing that rack. Right, next up, or do we need some planning? I need to do some planning now, because I wasn't expecting all that to happen. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Just a quick note as well, there's the racks that jump out of the venom. They are fearless, so they don't need pin and check. Right, so Ali's going to shoot the Chimera down at the Ravager. Um, because he can't see all of the side armor and it's mostly obscured, um, and that's the closest side to him. Apparently it's plus one to the cover save. Plus stealth, so Ali says I've got a two-up cover save. I think we've done that right. Yeah. Let us know if we haven't. So, multi -laz. Two hits. Yep. Um, so, well, we've... Eleven. So that's a glance. A glance on the five for a two-up. Oh, aren't you glad? Yep. Right, so last guns from the veterans just under the Valkyrie and they are going for the rack. So six last guns, Ali. Yeah, we'll do Not bad. I can reroll that one because I gave them the move through cover and reroll once to hit. That's five. Yep. Some talent upgrade toughness. Four. So only five. That's two. Six up armor. Nope. Why couldn't that be me feel no pain roll? Feel no pain? Of course. So that kills two of them. You then got three plasma? Yep. Two hits. Needing twos? Yep. Oh, just one. Uh, right, so six will cover being the creator. Feel no pain. Nope, that kills another one. So there's one left. Sergeant's bolt gun. Hits. Needing four. Nothing. No. So that is one <coughs> rack. <coughs> They're fearless as well, aren't they? They are fearless, yes. Oh, god damn it. Um, doesn't that bother? We can't see anything because everything's out of arc. What about the auto cannon? Where's he hiding? He's just there through the smoke, so we, oh, don't, so we don't normally count the smoke. So Fair enough, yeah. Um, I'll try that sentinel to finish him off. Auto gun, cannon. One hit. One wound. Um, six of cover. Nope. Feel no pain. Dead. Not bad at all. Right, so the Vendetta's shooting the razor wing, I presume? Yep. I will jink. Of course you will. Twin linked. Two hits. Ones or a glance. Ones or a glance, man. If we've not had this before, right, all I could do is glance you with it. Two, two pens. pens. Three up. Oh, one goes through, AP two. Yeah, so we've got plus one. Three. Shaken. So that's not bad, because I'm snap firing anyway, thanks to Jinkin. Razor Wing down to two whole points. He will be going off, of course, in my next turn. So, down here, we've got the Torrent Flamer to get three of the bikers here. We have measured it. Yeah, it's just going to be... You only get three, no matter which way you put it. So we're just going to bake three. Yep. Toughness. Four. So it's still need twos. However... It's turn two, I count as turn three because I'm within 12 inches of Urian, which means I get me five plus feel no pain. For nothing. So yeah, three closest guys will go down, unfortunately. Yeah, here's the problem with the rolling dice in here. We've parked flyers out. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. We're rolling around there and my arm's going around this one. Right, so, uh, heavy ball from that, at least they're going to jink. Preferred obviously. enemy because you're in the objective uh, zone. One hit, needing the three, that's one wound. Three up. Yep. Happy days. Three up thanks to Skilled Rider. They don't need a morale check, uh, even though Ali's now about to do even more casualties. Yeah. I've got two from that flamer. Yep, so uh, fours. fours. One. Feeling no pain is failed, so that cuts another one of them down. Um. multi -lars. Or is the multi yeah, it, mo it moved six. I'm... Um, the unit is actually here, so the heavy bolt it can target them. Yeah. To be honest, it can fire at the rest of them, like, so I might as well. I'll do the... It moved six, so I'll do the multi lads. What's your armor save? On them, five yeah. up. I'll, three, three, I'll, up three up jink, though. I'll fire the heavy bolt normally. Right. Because that'll go for your armor save. I mean, it's not going to I'm still jinking regardless, yeah, so... Yeah, you jinx better. Actually, I'll, I'll, I don't know. 
It makes no odds. I'll go the multi lads because the heavy bolt is wounded on three, so the multi lads are yeah. on two. So we'll do the multi lads at four BS. Yep. One hit. Destroy the building. It's a wound. Fine. And we'll just snap fire that heavy bolt. Yep. Nothing. Lads gonna raise, they're gonna fire into this. Grotesquery. So it's six shots there. Yep. And I've got five hits, we're needing sixes to. Yep, Even thanks to toughness. Six. Six. Do anything that's one. One. Uh, feel no pain. No, so he takes a wound. I forget if they actually have armor saves though. I'll have to check because that, that will matter. Right, so grotesques have a six up armor save as well. I'm not used to having an armor save on the Mali, so feel no pain. Nope, so that one guy drops to two wounds. Oh, what a difference. Yeah. And there'll be another two large shots coming at the back of the bikes because he's within the. Yeah. Got a fire range, two hits, two fives, it's one. One, three up, five up. Oh, kills another one. Oh, go on, guns. But the three cluster caltrops are still there. God damn it. You love cluster caltrops, Ali. Hmm. D6, strength six, rending hammer of rats on your vehicles. Oh, Is that it for this side? No, I'm gonna do this into them. Trojan's heavy water. For all the good it'll do, one hit, even five, it's a wound. Uh, cuts through the armour, so feel no pain. Nope, he feels the pain. Oh wow. So the front one is down to two wounds as well. I believe that's the first casualty ever inflicted by that heavy wall. Ever? Ever. You bought him when we went to Warhammer World. Yeah, but most of the time I forget to fire him. It's like that day he's got a heavy bolt and I never fire him because it just sits there. Fair enough. And I think that is honestly his first uh, casualty. Are you letting the death strike off here then? Yeah, I'm going to try and fire the death strike and it goes off in a three plus. Yeah, I should have uh, put the Archon at the front to tank on the two up. Well, that's barrage anyway. Alright, fair enough. It doesn't go off. It does not. Wow. Holy crap. Right, I believe you've got one thing left to fire. I've actually got two. Right. I'm going to do his multi lars at your horrible haywire thing. <laughs> the Reaper. Yeah, the Reaper. Yeah. So What's the range on a multi lars 36. It might just be out. Just tickle your nose. Yep. Yeah. Does hit the hull. Gonna tickle your nose. So we'll do the multi lars Shots. That's one hit. Needing a five. Not jinking because I've got three up cover. There's a five. Three up cover. Passed. Awesome. And the last horrible, horrible thing. Yeah. Oh, what's he going for? Is it, I'm gonna go for that thing behind that. What the radar? Yeah. It's done nothing. It's not even doing anything yet. I don't care, I'm gonna go for it anyway. Oh, but that's not fair. Yeah, it is fair. So, do you want to place the blast over your own radar, Harry? No. <laughs> Dead centre? Yep. First one. I uh, can't see, I'm gonna reroll that with twin linked. That's gonna go full four. Yeah. That's gone seven forwards. So, there. You can flip it though. Yeah, so has that missed completely, is it? It has, yeah. Yeah, so I'm basically gonna need hits just to flip back now. Yep. Second blast, hits. So if you flip that back... That'll get one? No, just misses. Just misses? Yeah. Well, that's it, then I can't do anything. Right, fair enough. Whew! Should have kept the original. Right, let's move on to combat. Are you charging anything? No. Right, do um, you score anything? You score objective marker five. And... Where? Four still there, so yeah, Four's I've got there. five. I have scored five. Are you discarding six or Kingslayer? I'm going to discard number four. No problem. Right, so Dark Eldar turn three, we drew no prisoners, take them alive, which is both basically kill stuff. And we drew no escape, kill an enemy unit that's fallen back or has stealth and shrouded. Ali doesn't have stealth or shrouded or anything, so that one's going to be a little bit harder. But we've got a couple of reserve rolls, so the Void Raven is on. The Scourge are on. The other raider is on hallelujah right so reserves the scorch are going to try and deep strike here forward two inches we'll place them in a few moments meanwhile over here this is pretty much the clearest place so i'm going to try and have a pop and take out that side armor with the disintegrated cannon on the radar direct hit get the hell in so this should go according to plan should the Void Raven is going to hopefully drop its mine and take out that Sentinel and possibly the Chimera. Hellhound? Which one? That one. That one. 
Oh, no, Chimera. Chimera with a heavy flamer. And then it's going to pop its Dark Lancers or Void Lancers at that Command Chimera. Hopefully doing some damage. But we've got some movement to do, and I'm thinking, hopefully, if things go reasonably okay, we might be able to do a little bit of damage. Right, so movement is complete. The Ravager and the Reaper are staying here. Hopefully, we can take out some of these tanks here. This Raider, hopefully, the Disintegrator Cannon will take out that Chimera, and then the Poison Shots from inside can unload. There is a Blaster in there, so I could target another tank depending on how these two guys fire and goes. This raid has moved forward and we're going to look to pump some poison shots into these guys and hopefully take them out. We've got the void mine to do at the end of the movement phase. We've got the scourge here we're looking to take out something else as well and we've got the grotesques pushing forward. These guys are going to go for that horrible missile and we've already turbo boosted the Reavers up there out of the way in one phase. So, Ali, can I have a large blast template, please? Because... I thought you had a night blast. I thought you were against all the sort of blasts you've been using in the battlefields and stuff like that. Well, I've got two in the entire army. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to place the Void Mine conveniently there to clip the Chimera and that. And it's a 1d6 scatter direct hit. I believe it is strength 8 or 9. We'll double check and see if we can blow these two up. Right, so it's strength 9, AP 2. So even if it's on the rear or side armor, one is going to glance yeah. this thing. But if it explodes, that could damage that. Potentially, yeah. So that's a pen. There's a pen. It's gone. Nope, that's just stunned. And then the Chimera. That's a pen. That is a shaking. So the Chimera has lost a single hull point. We're now going to go straight on to shooting. You did the hull point on that, didn't you? Sorry? You did the hull point on that, didn't you? I did, yeah. So he's gone? He is. And the Chimera next to him has lost a single hull point as well. However, the Void Lancers from the front of this beast are going to shoot your Command Chimera. Oh, of course you are! Of course You're I am. Horrible. Two shots. Both hit. Strength 9 Lance, needing a 3 to glance, 4 to pen. That is 1. Penetrating hit at AP2. Shaken. Do you have a cover save on them? No. No camo on it. No. So he's also down to right. two hull points. Shake. Alright, so this raider here is going to try and have a lucky pop at that Chimera. Disintegrated cannon, three shots at strength five, and that's a single hit. Needing a five. Nothing. And unlike Ali, I don't get preferred enemy. Right, the Reaper is now going to use its Storm Vortex to fire its large blast template right there. I'm targeting this one. Mm -hmm. Does it hit? Direct hit. So that is a hair wire hit on the Chimera on full hull points for nothing. And a hair wire hit on the Chimera on one hull point for one single hull point. And I right. believe no cover from there. We can see the entire side of it. So that is gone which means the guys have to get out conveniently in front of this poison boat alley unless you go the other way yeah what's the disembarking range I think it's three inches right so Scourge we're going to shoot with that Chimera not going to get a cover save from there so yeah. four here wire blasters three hit come on yes two glances mm -hmm. and it's wrecked which means those guys have to get out as well Ali has just disembarked the others and it is three inches and he's hid them nicely around that corner there. So while he spends another ten year uh, <laughs> getting another ten guys out, uh, if it's okay with you Ali, I'm going to shoot the Ravager at this Chimera here. The one in the middle there. He is going to get a cover save though because, in fact, I don't know if the front arm is actually obscured. I think it is a little bit by my radar. We'll double check that if I do any damage. So three hits, three shots even, two hits. Front arm 12, yeah. single glance. So it's not gonna do any damage anyway, uh, but I would say that's a five up cover save going through my radar. So do you wanna roll that? Yeah, is that, the, is that the triple air? Uh, triple lance, yeah, straight, th straight, straight through there. Like this. Nope. nope, so that's glance. a single glance on that one as well. So. This one's wrecked, 
That one's wrecked, but this one in the middle is still going. Hmm. Yeah, I think we will leave that radar where it is and try and take out as many of the guys getting out of there as we can. But for the minute, this radar, we've measured it. I am within 12 inches of these guys, so all of them will get to rapid fire. It's 24 twin link poison shots killing on fours unless Ali elects to go to the ground because splinter rifles are AP5. So, I'll roll to hit and wound first and we'll see if Ali wants to go to the ground after. Hitting on threes. Twin linked. So, still five misses there. So, wounding on fours thanks to poison. That's a poor roll, that is four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, I wouldn't care, I just said nine off camera as well. So, are you going to ground alley for a six up? There is a, mm, no, the, yeah, the last guy away is a plasma. So even if you only make one six, you've got at least, you know, four rapid fire snapshots from plasma there, if you, if you save one. I'm going to go to ground because I couldn't see stuff happening. Yep, nine saves, six up. Not a single thing. So that is all, apart from this last plasma gun here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what else can I shoot? I think down here, blast pistol at the front armor of the Chimera from the Archon. That's a miss. Reroll to a five, because she's ballistic skill seven. That's a miss. Never mind. Um, and I think, nope, because we've got. This here is going to shoot with those guardsmen that have just getting out as well. Right, so this radar is going to unload at these guys here. You can only see six because of the angle of the wreckage of the vehicle. So we've got, uh, how many? 22 poison shots plus a blaster. That's a lot of misses. Thankfully, I'm twin linked. And twin linked. These are wounding on force, but Ali does have a 5 will cover save for being behind the rock. So fours, two, four, five, six, seven, that's nine. All but consistent, Ali. So five cover saves, unless you go to ground for a fourth. Nine in total, is it? Nine in total, yes. I'll leave it at the five. And do you know what? Let's chuck the blaster in. Misses anywhere. So, five of cover. Yeah. Okay. On nine guys. Only kill a maximum of six. Uh, you save four, so kills what? Five? Yep, five guys. That's so the front of five guys go down. Wasn't too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Right, I think that is it for shooting. I think. Right, last shot is the disintegrate cannon shooting the side armor of this hellhound. Two hits, one glance, five will cover because of the wreckage in the way alley. And he makes it. So that is it for shooting. Let's move on to the assault and hopefully do a fair bit of damage. Right, so the one plasma gunner that's left, leadership check, leadership, what, seven? Leadership eight, I believe, as he's a veteran. Oh, not bad, let's roll it then. Passes. Boom. So he's not running? No, do you want to lie him down though, Harry, because he went and did go around? He did, we'll lie him down just to remind us. So, I've got a couple of assaults to make. In fact, don't these guys need a morale check? Yeah, they will do from taking some casualties there as well. Yeah. So. That's a fail. They're not happy. That might be off the board. It is. Yeah, it will be off the board, even if I go to where, the, where he's standing, he's going to flip the edge of it, so. Wow, that's, that had, wow. <laughs> I guess uh, the Dark Eldar's look is paying off. Right, so we've got two charges over here. The Grotesquery over there is going to charge that horrible Death Strike missile. I don't know whether to actually charge the Trojan. It's not going to do anything to us other than maybe he's wound something with a heavy bolt there. Uh, yeah, I need to kill the Death Strike. There you go, 11 inches in. Meanwhile, down here, these guys are also going to charge in Ali. He's going to get some overwatch out with the tank. Yeah, they go for the kind of. Yeah, they go. That's 10 inches, so they are going to be in as well. Right, so Ali's overwatch. We just missed it on camera there. Two shots with the last gun gets both hits. Mean double six again, though? No. Nah. Nope. And uh, Flamer? 
two, two. wounds on six. sixes, that's one. Cuts through the armor, feel no pain. Nope, so one of the grots is down to two wounds. Not too bad, we've got a crap ton of attacks there actually. So each grotesque will have four on the charge. So the Archon and everything would go first, but we're just gonna wipe out the grotesques because they're gonna do the damage, not the Archon. So we've got 12 attacks, first of all, against the Chimera. Uh, what turn is this? Three. Three, so our Classus has turned four, which means I've got, it will not die, I get Zealot next turn. Because I'm within 12 inches of Urian. So, fives and sixes. Two. Gone. Yeah, it's definitely gone penetrating, but can't do anything. No. Um, anything yet. But I could pin the guys inside for suffering a penetrating hit. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to roll that leadership to see if they are pinned? Nope. Do you want to know something though? What? They are. Really? Because minus one leadership for being within 12 inches of the uh, grotesquerie. Mm. And my Archon has Armour of Misery, which is minus two within six inches. See, does that count now? Because I take it for being pinned. It well, still well, counts. still in the vehicle. Because in the vehicle, you feel it. So it wouldn't happen anyway. So you'd be off your stand, I don't know. But the vehicle's gone anyway, so... That's an interesting question, actually. Yeah, if somebody out there in the big wide world can... Uh... You know what? Let's say they're not pinned. There's technically... Yeah, I think your way would actually be right. Um, because they, because it hasn't exploded, they don't take a pin and check for it being exploded. Yeah. But the, the penetrating with the wood. Interesting to know though. Uh, meanwhile, we'll add them three dice back in. Uh, and then we'll add one more for the Arborition. And these guys are going against the Death Strike missile. Oh, there's a few misses there. Good. And then we're looking for fives and sixes. I presume it's rear armor 10. Yeah. Come on. Interesting fact, it's still armor 12. <gasps> Only two? What, glances? One glance, one pen. Oh. Penetrating hit AP dash. You snap fire, which means, please tell me you can't fire it. Um, I can't, because I hope he's part of the machine spirit from the engine here. Ah. Oh. But he's down to one hull point, is it? It is. I, I, um, I'm, on, the, on the bonus side, Harry, if it doesn't go off, there's no way for it to move, so it's going to be stuck in combat next turn. True, and is that in, that's in your turn as well. Yeah. So. You'd kill it in my turn and then be free to run about in your turn. Well, hey! Um, three inches from there, aren't I? Yep. So. Out of the frying pan and the fire, I believe. These guys are just literally going, oh god, no! And Definitely. So, uh, I do have. Suicide one charge, maybe. Other. I do have one more charge to make, though, Ali. Yeah? Mmm. <laughs> Solitaire over here is going to charge this vehicle. Solitaire? Yeah, there. What's oh, Solitaire? That's Solitaire there. What, what? That's Solitaire there. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> He's been hiding behind that ruin the entire time. Nah, I'm kidding. He's not in the army. He just but fell off the shelf, did he? It, no. Lucy totally didn't hide him. So, yeah. Oh, well, I'm just going to uh, accidentally drop Lehman Ross. Wait. Oh, I don't have one with me. <laughs> Wait till you see a battle report that I did with Phil, because at the time, that battle, at the time of filming this, the battle report with Phil isn't up. But I recommend that you go and watch it. When it's up. When it's up, which should be in... Soon. It's Tuesday. Should be up on Friday if I get it done. So watch it. <laughs> Phil's face is hilarious. Phil's got a hilarious face. It's like he, he fell. Like a young child. <laughs> and struck his face upon a hard object. <laughs> you know what, his skull bones are so soft. <laughs> yeah. He's got that sort of face. Right, so... Uh, Sorry, Phil! <laughs> no prisoners. Uh, how many units did I kill? I killed... Chimeras. Uh, count for Chimeras that, or not? Because you... One, two... Two Chimeras. Three... Four... Four... Five. Five units. Oh, did I not kill another one? There must be another one. Chimera. Chimera squad. Sentinel. Chimera. Chimera. Five. five. Oh, I needed to kill one more unit. If only I'd killed that single guy there. Uh, I do score D3. If I'd killed that one guy, I'd have scored D3 plus three alley. Oh, or if I'd killed the death strike. Yeah. So I get D3 points. I'm already on, what am I on? Four plus D3 for one more. Five. Take them alive. Uh, completely destroy at least one non-enemy unit in the assault phase. Non-enemy non vehicle? 
if an en no, not a vehicle it has to be a non vehicle. Yeah, so you haven't. Which I haven't done. No. No escape, completely destroy a unit that was falling back. I did because I caused one to fall back off the board. Did you? Right, so my car to turn three. We're drawn to crew objective two, which these guys disembarked on. And blood and guts can destroy something in the assault phase. I don't think that is going to happen, especially with guard against Dark Elder, but we might, if, we might if do you, it. If you want to charge, go for it. We might do it, you know, balls out and all that. And I'll do a reserve roll for my last vendetta on a 2 plus. And that comes on. Go back to you after the movement. Right, so movement phase, Ali's moved the Trojan out of the way so that it's not going to get killed in the combat phase. And these guys are looking to burn the way through some of these Reavers. Meanwhile, this Valkyrie, yeah, the Valkyrie. has come this way, looking to hopefully pour a couple of shots in at the Grotesques down there. This Vendetta has dropped off the Veterans. Ali tried to deep strike them here. They did go backwards ever so slightly. And conveniently, there's a Flamer there. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice. The Hellhound, meanwhile, has come sideways, looking to torch that Raider and hopefully kill some guys inside. Meanwhile, at this side, the Chimeras are both looking to do some damage here. And that's pretty much it, apart from the other Vendetta has come on, staring down at either the Raider or the Void Raven. So, that's it for moving very, very quick. So, do you want to do some orders, Ali? I will do orders. I'll do the standard two happening over here. And, to be honest, he's out of order range. Yes. He He's out of orange, I can't even let him get back in the fight. And they can't see anything, so it's they're going to order themselves. There's a character in there, isn't there? Uh, there will be, yes. So just for complete shits and giggles. So these guys can order themselves? Yeah, I just can't get a reroll. Ha. So, what are you doing with these? I do take him off. You know what, I'm just going to ignore cover with them. So you can't even go to the ground. I want six of Binfan anyway. Yeah, well, there we go. Yeah, but they're going to ignore cover on themselves, so I'll try that. Goes off. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I've got a six of Binfan. Yeah, but that's worse than any cover save <clears throat> you, you could have got for being on the fortification. He's going to order that help, the uh, <clears throat> Hydra. Of course he is. That goes off. And then the other one. Goes off. There you go. And that is all my orders, because everyone else is out of range, or... Yep. Not able to. Take. So, shooting. I presume the Hydras are going for the Void. The Void Raven. Uh, not Jinkin, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, three, three hits, four points. hits, strength seven, armor ten. Stupid, it used to be armor eleven. So that's a glance and a pen. What does the pen do? You got an invul or anything? No. Nope. Five. Which is. Weapon destroyed. Yeah, and I've only got two. The bomb's gone. Yeah, so, so basically, I lo lose a lance. Is that it? You've just got two lances. That's it. And conveniently, I can do that. Oh, fantastic. Happy days. Right, so that's not dead, but it's on one whole point. It is. You can shoot that. That. Are you going to tower the Void Raven like you? Yeah, that said? other, other Hydra's going to go for it. Okay. <clears throat> Twin Two hits. hits. Two hits. Hopefully that's all we need. There's just one whole point left, is it? Yeah. Boom. Gone. Does it crash and burn though? Oh, horribly cocked. Horribly cocked. <laughs> no. No. So that is the Void Raven destroyed. And again, it is my unicorn. It does next to nothing. It killed a sentinel and um, well and did two whole points of damage. It did, it did enough. It did stuff. It sh shook that, I mean. It's only multi lads and but it's better than The that. idea was to try and blow it up to stop you getting the ignores cover, because oh, then that'd yeah. be better. That, that was the way to do it. Yeah. But right. you had to try. So then the Vendetta is shooting this bad boy. Yeah, he's going to shoot at that radar right in the open there. Jake. Of course you are. Twin linked. Two hits. Paper armor as well. Ones. Glance and a pen. Glance first. Pen. Fine. Cool. So, let's work out what is next. Right, so Ali is targeting this Vendetta at the Ravager. He's got a six of cover save there anyway, but I'm gonna jink, and that's because of the Night Shield. So, hitting off pause, twin linked, 
two hits, two stick lines. One so, pen. One pen, three up. Cocked. Three. What is next, good sir? He's gonna fire down into this horrible unit here. Is it a blast or is it just yeah, solid I'm gonna, shots? I'm gonna check the, it is a blast for the rocket pods. Right, I'm let's gonna, have a look at that and work that out. So. Right, so the rocket pod is large, blast, strength, 4 AP6. Strength 4 AP6. Yeah, is it, is it barrage or not? Nah, it's just a blast. So, so yeah. we're going to have full cover for the yeah. ages. So that's better on target. Hit. That is five. Second one is going four. Four inches. Thankfully for that, I'm not going to clip my own troops. That's two. Yeah, so that's seven altogether. Strength four, did you say? Yeah, so it's needs sixes, isn't it? Majority toughness six, yeah. So it's seven dice. Get out of the way. Nothing. Nothing. Worth a shot though. It is worth. And you've got a last cannon, haven't you? Yeah, multi last. So we've got three shots there. Just one hits in this. Four. Does nothing. Oh well. Down right. here. Might as well wrap back around. Heavy bolt or into the bikes. Jink. Nothing. The squad's gonna fire the flamer. Hmm. Which is hiding at the back. I can only get I can get three actually if I go that way, yeah? So we've got three? Yeah. Toughness four, aren't you? I am. It's one. One. Feel no pain because it cuts through my armour. Nope. So the closest guy would actually die. Yeah, this one here. Yeah. There you go. And we've got las guns. Yeah, I'm going to go with the las guns. If I'd killed more, see, I'd killed all like three, mm. I would have charged in, but I'm not taking on three. So it's going to be a, a volley of las gun fire here. We're all in rapid fire range. So that's eight LAS guns, two shots each, and then LAS pistols, 17. Yep. Right, so LAS guns, eight shots first of all. I am jinking this. Right, that's seven hits there. Yep. And then we'll do... Nine dice. The other nine. And that's two misses there. So that's seven. And Fourteen seven. hits. Seven there. I just picked up seven, didn't I? I can't count this time, innit? Yep, so I'll just roll these twice again. Toughness yep. four, aren't you? Toughness four, so we're not five. Fives. Four. Oh. And then seven again. There's another one. Five. Five. Three ups. Boom! Like oh, a boss. Happy days. Next. Oh, I'm gonna fire the death strike. Oh. It's 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 gonna die, so. You're gonna use parallel machine spirit to fire? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to use machine to ignore the fact that it can't snap fire blast, so it goes off in a two. Yep. And we're going to use the Trojan to give it preferred enemy. Lovely. So killing anything on twos, rerolling ones. Yeah. And that's huge. It is, it's absolutely beautiful. It's bigger than my head. <sighs> to be honest, a lot of stuff's bigger than my head. You're lucky it can't fire here. It could fire there, but I'm gonna, I'll hit me on troops without a doubt. Mm hmm. To be honest, I'm gonna go for the big thing with the fin at the back. The Reaper? Yeah. <sighs> Do I jink? It yeah, ignores cover. Oh. So, I'm assuming you can't jink. So, I'll, I'll roll it in the crate here. Bang on target. Barrage? Yeah. Want a glance? <laughs> Side armor is. 11. Ordnance as well, so there's me pen. Pen, what AP? One. Plus three. Plus three because it won't be popped. Six. Whoa, it survives. <laughs> Fantastic. Ah, and that can still fire. Yeah. So it's immobilized, but it can still fire. Bloody hell. That's fantastic because, oh look, there's a Chimera. There's another Chimera. Yeah. So, um, snap fire the heavy bolt. The that, you know what, that is actually the best result I could have gotten. It is, because anything else would have. Uh... Because he's not in a bad firing position either. Yeah. Yeah, snap fire the heavy bolt into your unit right in front. Nothing. Right, he's done. How on, can it still fire while it's locked in combat? Um, because you can't lock a vehicle. No, but so, because you can't move anywhere, you're yeah. still within an inch, so you're still engaged. Yeah, you engage. But that, that, oh, that whole, yeah, that's a rules mess. Right. Squad up on the battlements here. Flame at four, three? Yeah, because I'm pretty close, so I'm not going to get... Yeah, you can only get three no matter which way you go. So, three, wounding on threes. Two, AP 
five. AP five. Four armor. Pass one, fail one, fail no pain. Fail. So one guy goes down. And then we're gonna rapid fire some plasma. Mm-hmm. Reroll the one because they've got the same upgrade that squad had. And still get a one. So it gets hot, four armor. Five up, so a five up. plasma gunner. But one shot went off. So there's three plasma shots going through. Needing twos. Three. I do have a six up in run. Uh, I don't pass any of them, so that's three of them gone. Yeah. Scorch are unfortunately very unbalanced is models. One left, is it? One left, yeah. So I'm gonna double what, double tap the lads? Yeah, two last shots. Reroll the one. It's two hits. Yeah. Toughness three, so we need fours. Nothing. And the bolt pistol. Hits. And the three doesn't do anything. Right, so the Trojan, not the Trojan. Chimera. Chimera, too many Chimeras. <laughs> is going to shoot at this That's Scorch. It is. Nothing. Nothing. And it's snap firing. Why is it snap firing? Because, yeah, you I stunned it. Yeah, it was shaking. Yeah. Not stunned. Right, next. Hellhound. At. Yeah, he's going to torrent over the radar. Lovely. So, do you want to roll to damage the radar first? Yeah. We'll do Fours first. to glance. Nothing. Yeah. And D6. D6 inside. One. One. That dice is jinxed. We're not using that one. <laughs> That's one. Strength six. Strength six. So I don't even feel no pain. No. On, uh, I'll roll two dice. On a double six, I'll re-roll on a double one. It's a splinter cannon. So one normal guy dies. So, you've got a few units over here to shoot. We do. Right, so we've got a heavy flamer from the hatch. And one from the hull as well. And one from the hull as well, yeah. Might as well do them both at the same yeah. time. So, needing a five to glance the radar. That's a, a pen. There's a pen on the radar. Oh, crap. Plus one. Yeah. Boom. Wow. Trapped inside as well, because you've got no escapes. So, 2d6. Two two six. The dude's inside. It's eight. Eight. Um, top is three. Yeah. So, I'm needing two twos. Twos. How many is that? I can reroll the ones, because you'll be within six of that. Oh, crap. Yep, so that's eight. Eight. Feel more pains, because you're not doubling us out. No. Nope. Oh! One, two, three, four, five. Feel more pains. Passed. Wow. So you kill three guys. <laughs> However, it explodes. So how many's left? Seven. So I've got to do seven three pluses now. Yes. And then I've got five up, five up. How many's that? That is four. four. Five up, five up. <laughs> Made it. So how many die? Three. Yeah. Right. Double six reroll. Double one will be the splinter, splinter cannon. Ah, there's a blaster. Um, double one splinter. Double six blaster. Okay. Wrong one. Exit. Two. Three. Yeah. None of them. So that they are down to that's gone actually. So I'll have to get some models out for that. Right, so Laz gonna rear from the Chimera at the Warriors. Um that's horrible. One hit. Even a four. That gets a five. AP dash. AP dash. Five. Make it. Cool. Right, so pin and check with these guys. And I make it on make a leadership it. of four. That heavy flame is not range. Nope. Right, so I guess the Chimera is shooting. Still within six of that, so yeah, actually I'm going to double tap two plasma guns at the back of there. Okay. So it's four plasma shots. Reroll on the ones, thank fuck. Nope, one still gets hot. So I've got two hits, one missed, one armor save to make. Armor save. Six. Oh, get in, we'll make it. So two plasma shots, the twos. Reroll the one. Two die. And the heavy bolter. Mm -hmm. The squad. Two hits. Two wounds. Well, feel three. no pain. Yeah. Two more die. And the multi lads. Oh, come on. I've already started firing now. I can't exactly stop. It's just kind of hold the trigger down and press. <laughs> one air uh, 
What MC is it? AP6, but it's strength 6, you won't get to feel the pain. No. Nope. Oh, can... that's the blaster. So two guys left, is that everything shooting at them? I believe so. Yeah, because they fired the heavy flame at that, and he's fired the heavy flame at that. They're fine, leadership 7. Of course they are. Um, I've got a dude lying in the dirt. You do? It's going to be a snap fire, like. Oh, yeah, is he going for them guys? He might as well, because he'll get two shots. Yeah, but do we agree if we kill any and I survive? Yeah. You... Still passed. Yeah, because I'm better off to try to get two shots on them rather than... Yeah. Nope, you missed. That's nothing. Right, not a bad round. You've still got that thing. I do. Which I don't like. He can stand back up now because he's fired. And he's not going to play anymore. Oh. Right, what's in range of this beast? We also actually have the leadership check for that. Yeah, he's not going to die that. Fine. Happy days. Wow. Right, so the wyvern is going to try and drop a barrage tablet on here. And I've spread out in such a way that Ali can only ever hit one. So we're going to go for that one there. Oh, six inches. Uh, I'm twinning that. The hell <laughs> out of, I'm twinning the hell out of that. Four, Four inches. I'm going to flip some of your own dudes. So we've gone there, we've got a bike and th three. Two, three? Three guardsmen and a bike. Right, I'll keep track of the guardsmen, you can keep track of the bike. Right. Second blast. I'm going to twin link that. Yeah. That's still going that way, so that's going to get one more guardsman. Yeah. That's better. Two bikes. Three. Could Three. Sit in the middle. Ouch. And third blast. Fourth blast now. Direct hit. So I'm going to go left for three again. So six bikes and four guardsmen. Right. Oh, sorry, seven bikes because you clipped one on the first shot, didn't you? Yeah. So seven bikes and four guardsmen. I'll go for the guardsmen. And you can threes reroll them two. Why we shred? Shred. So that is three. three. Uh, it, it, it ignores cover, but they're armor safe. It's AP6, but they've got five plus safe, so... Fair enough. They'll be taking that. Nope, three die. And then you've got seven wounds on me. Four's re-rolling. Yep. Oh, not bad. Thank for Shredder. Oh, that's five. That's five. Five up, five up. Uh, I pass one. I need to pass at least two of these to survive. And I pass two. Oh. So, uh, look out, sir. Two of them. Yeah. So that's the champion. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I roll one three and one six. So, so what? One's left. One is left. So, unfortunately, my little character sniper is gone. Not being able to get to do what they are meant to do. However, I still don't run away though. No. I'm going to check the storm shot because I don't know if it pins or not, so I might have to take a pin and check from your own dudes. Fearless. Your fearless. Oh, for your, your dudes. Yeah, for my dudes. Fair enough. Right, so these guys are going to need a morale check. I'm fearless. Uh, thanks to Urian being within 12 inches, it's turn 3. It counts me as turn 4, but my warlord is also there within range. We've got these guys in here need a morale check, but they're at minus three because of uh, minus two from the armor of misery, plus minus one for free spectacle. So, what's the normal leadership? Seven? Um, eight, I believe, because they've got the sergeant in there. Right, fair enough. So do you want to roll that up? You're at minus three. So leadership five, isn't it? Leadership five, unless you're leadership yeah. seven. Leadership eight. So, like a boss. Boom! Nice. They're staying. Is that everything? Is that the entire as, shooting phase? As far as I know. I believe it is. Bloody well looks like it. No problem. So we've got two shaken heavy supports. We've got this guy here with only nine guys left inside. We've got a lonely scourge, but we've got a crap ton of stuff going on over here. I'm guessing you're not going to do any assaults. No, I can't fire the uh, rapid fire weapons. No problem. Now you do score objective two because you have obsec. Yep, so we've got two. And you don't score Kingslayer no. yet. I'm going to discard Blood and Guts. No problem. Right, so we do Trophy Hunter. Take them alive. We've got to kill a character in the Assault Phase. It's going to be easy to get a normal character, but an independent character is going to be more awkward. I think we can get our turn five, though, if we don't do it. 
this turn. Uh, we've also got secure objective six, which is gonna be difficult to get. Objective six is down here. Actually, that's not difficult to get. No, you've got that. Objective six is actually that one there. So the two warriors that aren't pinned are on there. These two guys are gonna stay exactly where they are and hopefully lay some firepower down and get rid of some of these, possibly. The Razor Wing and the Lonely Scourge are gonna hopefully try and blow up that thing that I can't remember the name of. Okay. Command Chimera. Meanwhile, over this side, all of these guys are gonna charge in. The Archon's gonna hopefully cut apart that squad. And then we've got the Grotesques and of course, the Reaver Jet Bike, hopefully gonna Hammer of Wrath that Trojan. It's a shame he wasn't out. Mm. Because if he was out, I could have gotten an extra victory point. I contemplated sending the Razor Wing after it, but I thought, you know, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna kill it in the assault phase anyway. So I might as well send the Dark Lancers and the missiles after the guys down here. So, shooting phase. The only other thing we have was this is moved here to kill these. But the disintegrate can is facing that way, Ali, to hopefully kill that guy. Okay, kill the lone guy. Kill the lone guy. That's two hits. Strength five AP two. There we go. Two hit, two wounds, is it? Two wounds. Yeah, well, I'm not making two sixes. <laughs> there we go. Right. This guy is not snap firing. He's just immobilized. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire the single shot at this. And this one here. If it hits, it does D3 hair wires. It hits. So D3 does three hair wire hits. Well, that's at least two. Yeah. And then the third one, nothing. So that is a wreck. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't too shabby. Right. Whilst Ali digs out another Imperial Guard company, uh, the Lone Scourge is going to shoot at his command chimera. So. Hits and a four is a glance with the hair wire blaster alley. This one here. That chimera, yeah, lost a whole point thanks to right. the hair wire blaster. We've then got, hmm, I don't know what to do here. Do I shoot the dart lances at the wyvern? Not the wyvern, the hydra, and then use the missiles to clip the chimera. I think we'll go for the missiles first, right? So, uh, if you've got a large blast, yeah, which I'll just, I have. I'll stick the. I've got one down by my knees. Right, he's actually there, but I'm going to stick him here, Harry. Because he's right, metal. And he, will, model. He, he will bloody slide. I'll just finish off smoking. Right, so I'm going to shoot the large blast missiles at the very corner, the tip of. Are you going for Chimera or Hydra? I'm going for the Hydra on the other side. This one here? Yes. Corner? But I'm going to, still going to hit yeah. that. So. Uh, direct hit because I'm ballistic skill 4. Yep. Uh, and then again, and direct hit. So I'm only shooting two missiles, and I'll explain right. why in a moment. Because I then, I want to try and glance the command chimera. So on the command chimera, what's the side armor? 10. Actually, what's the front armor? Because it's not 12. garage. So I need sixes. And then you shoot six, is it? Yeah. There Lance. we go. There's the six. Mm -hmm. Takes its last whole point off. Yep. We've then got two on the Hydra front armor. 12. Nothing. But what I'm now going to do is fire the Dark Lancers at the Hydra. So that is two hits, four and a six. Front armor 12, looking for fours. And there's a one and a two. But at least the missile took out that Chimera. Fortunately, not blowing it up, but never mind. Right, so those guys are getting out and unfortunately no damage done to the Hydra. Meanwhile, all the guys inside of here are going to rapid fire twin link poison shots at these bodies. Right. Bodies? With guys. the radar? Yes. Twin linked. So, wow. Twin linked and only two extra hits. Wounding on fours and Ali does get a four cover save being on the top there. Wow, that's a lot of wounds. Let's count that up. Right, so that's 10 wounds on these guys. Ali's going to do them two at a time before he gets to the sergeant. No, nope. oh. fuck's sake. Might as well just roll the rest now, mate. So, eight more. Yeah, 
Yeah, but see, I can take a look at with the officer. You're convinced you're going to make that many forks? Yeah. How are we then? So, look out soon. Okay, I've passed one. Because he's not an IC. No. That's the annoying thing with God, your command officer is just a character, not an IC, so we just die like flies. So, we'll just do a mis gazillion. I'll do one for him, he's got them. And then the rest of them's going to be four ups all over. We'll be enough to wipe the squad. There you go. Actually, nearly did it. Nope. Commander dies. And one plasma gun's left. What, has he got three wounds? Yeah. HQ. Wow! So... I didn't realise he had three wounds. Yeah, that's the bonus side of them, but they've got, they've got three wounds, five plus involved saved, but they can't do lookout so on a two plus, because for some reason... He, he would pull them in front of them and shoot them. You think? They used to get bodyguards last codex, which is um, automatic lookout so passage, you have two of them per command squad. Right, so I am not going to shoot down here because I don't want you to run away. Okay. And... Are you finna shoot him? I am. I might as well do a... Ah, boom! He's there. Actually, you know what I haven't done yet? Snap fire this. The... What, the flyer? This. You haven't snapped fired that? Yeah, you've got that. No. One. Right, well, the chimera's there, gone. I'm going to go for that thing in the back corner. The woman. Yes. Right, cool. No. Oh, well. Worth a shot. Right, assault phase. Um, yeah. These guys are going to charge in here. The ones on top of the chimera? Yes. Right, I'll sort you overwatch. In the meantime, uh, the biker is going to charge in. Yeah, you're going to make that. Makes it with a 4. D6, strength 6, rend and hammer of ass. So that's 5. Strength 6, rend and hammer of ass. What's your side armor? 10. Uh, yeah, then. 1. 3. Yep. It's gone. One glance, two pen. Well, two pens because one's red anyway. So I can't do anything. You don't do AP2 anymore, do they? No. Unfortunately, Urian can't charge him. Which is balls. What, how, actually, what's in there? In the Trojan? Yeah. That priest? Just him? Yep. He's there on top of the vehicle. Yeah, because that was up in there earlier for a... Uh, what are you looking for? Smoke. It's gone. More. More smoke. Well, that's more smoke, yes. I play vehicles, man. I'm gonna have smoke markers. Fair plan. And if you right. reckon, he's not gonna do a hoppity, skippity, jumpy. Going, ah! <laughs> yeah. Right, so overwatch into that unit there. Yep. So, how many flavors? Just two. Two needing sixes. Nothing. Nothing. And there was six other guys. There's 11 large shots. Because one's a pistol, yeah? Yeah. So, sixes and sixes. Oh, there's one. Nothing, nothing. I'm going to make it in. Um, let's see how far, though. There you go, seven inches yeah. is going to get in. You right. Roll your double one. The Archon is going to issue a challenge. Uh, it is turn four, so I class this as turn five, which means uh, turn five is fearless anyway, so yeah. turn six is rage. That would have been handy. Well, you know what? I'm going to die anyway, so I'm going to accept. Right, so well, I have six attacks on the charge. Four base. You got frag grenades in you as well. Uh, plasma grenades. So assault grenades, yeah. yeah. Uh, I issue a chance, do you accept? Yeah, so does that. Is he just a sergeant with one wound? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I. Wow. You should hit him with threes, right? Actually, you know what? What's your wound score? Seven. I hit him with threes. However, the squad now has Zealot. Mm. Because the grotesques have Zealot. Right, so it passes over here. So it passes over. So that is good. I am strength four because of Furious Charge. Threes. And it's a power sword with instant death. So there's five guys dead. Yeah. I don't care if you're instant death. It's gonna and do you know what? I think the succubus actually goes first with about the same number of attacks. I'm gonna say it's four. So she would re-roll. And she has an archite glaive and she is gonna be strength four. And there is another three wounds. Power weapon. Uh, AP2. Yeah, power weapon. So basically those two make mince meat of the squad, but because the Archon has a soul trap, <laughs> I gain plus one strength for the wound that I killed from right. your sergeant. So now my Archon is base strength four. Fair enough. Which means when I charge a tech priest next turn, <laughs> I'll be strength five. Fair enough. There is um, five inch consolidation. Quite nicely up. 
to her. Him. Mm-hmm. Right. And... Died, didn't they? Yeah, because they came up the... Uh, come on, squad. That is it, Ali. So, trophy hunter. I don't score the objectives for over there. Take them alive. Uh, kill a non-vehicle unit in the assault phase, which I did yep. over here. Scores me uh, one point. Unfortunately, I didn't kill an independent character. Nope. And I do score objective marker six for down here. Yep. Puts me at a total of seven, eight points, I think. I've only got one. That's all, you know. What? One the tech priest? Yeah. I know, that's why I'm going for it. He's the only independent character I've got. It's a shame, because now I can't get that. I'm going to discard Trophy Hunter, because it's stupidly hard to get. So I do score them two, plus no prisoners. Uh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight points, and I've, I've rolled three D3s, I think, and every single one of them's been one. I've got the reroll, and I haven't got a single D3 yet. <laughs> Wow, so God turns four. Right, so this turn I drew two cards, subdue objective three, which I'm on with that unit there, and scour the skies, and we'll have a flyer with two hydras. Yeah, so we should get these. Right, so movement phase. Those guys have left forward to uh, order both of the hydras. To ignore cover and shoot down the razor wing. The guys there are going for the lonely scourge. Meanwhile, that camera under there loaded with guys. The guys are going to take out the two cavalites there to score Ali objective marker six. I don't need to score, I just want you off it. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> uh, the vendetta has dropped to. No, that one hasn't dropped to hover mode. That's still yeah. fly mode to hopefully take this one. And the other one has dropped to hover mode to take the ravager. Meanwhile, the Valkyrie has gone off the board. The Hellhound is staying where it is to hopefully torch and blow up this radar and Ali is going to charge the Tech Priest in at the yeah. Biker. He killed his right, so he's going to uh, smack yeah. it. Right, so, orders. Ignore orders. cover on both Hydra. Yeah, so we'll do this Hydra here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll here now because everything keeps filling up. That goes off, just. Five and a six. And this Hydra here goes off. Double one. They're going to order themselves to... Ignore cover because they can't, and I love that order. Goes off, and that's the orders. Right, shooting. Shooting phase. This Hydra here, yeah. up at that, bang, bang, bang. Three Three hits, twin linked, four hits. Paper armor again? Yeah. Boom. There we go, it's gone. <coughs> Unfortunately, it lost whole points earlier in the game, so that's now gone. Boo. Right, what's next? This Hydra, <laughs> fire up that one. At the Ravager. Yes. Oh, I can't do what all about it. Uh, three hits. Two hits, sorry. Yeah, that's three hits. Three now. hits. Armor 11. Cardboard armor. That's uh, two glances and a pen. Which wrecks it. See if it explodes. Can't do anything. There's n nothing within range. Nah, it just goes. So that wasn't so bad. I would probably suggest doing this one here because then that one can take out the radar. Yeah. And then you can torch them with the Hellhound. Yeah, so he's gonna fire at the uh, mobilized one. Mm-hmm. Three twin link cannons. Two hits and the twin link. It's two hits. Cardboard armor, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, nothing. One pen, got pen. six. Uh, I can't jink, but I do have a six up cover save thanks to stealth. Yeah. Nope. Open top to AP2. That's, oh. a, that's a six, mate. Sure, could have. Yeah, that's a six. Boom. So that's gone. Yeah. Ali made a short work of the Dark Elder vehicle. So I literally now have like three things left in this, anything that's not the corner of the table. Over here, heavy flamer out the back of there. Yeah, for two. Two I'm wounds, feel more pain. Dead. This squad here is gonna fire that Scourge. Thought he was being cheeky. Um, I, it was being cheating, he shot, he shot the commander out, yeah. out of his camera. Heavy flame as well out of range, so... <laughs> plasma gunner first. I'm plasma. not sure, I'm going to do two large shots first. Do the plasma gunner because I don't let me feel no pain. Yeah, but I may kill myself, I'll do the first plasma gunner. Actually, you know what, feck it, we're just going to... Just, just balls to the wall. Gun for the both. Go on, four shots. Ah! Ah! Two One hits. hit. Oh, veterans, two yeah. hits. And he doesn't get hot, he doesn't die. Awesome. He survived too, isn't he? Yes. One wound, One. six up. Nope. That's it. Scorched. 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 
Next. This guy. Multilars. Yeah, the multilars are going to come around. And straight across at this jink. Jink like you've never drink before. One hit. You need a four. Nothing. That's nothing. So yeah, that vendetta is going to fire down into it. Yep. Twin linked. Still one. Paper armor. Ten. Fine. Yeah, the plasma gunner. Yeah. He's going to rack two shots in here. We roll the one. Two hits. Pen. Pen. Fine. Hellhound. Um. Yeah. We'll do the heavy bolt up. Two hits. One. one lance. Fine. And the inferno cannon. Yep. On the vehicle. Pen. Pen. Can't do anything. What's up? Strength six of it. You were topped in your circle. No, I mean, I, I can't oh, take. Yeah, you can't do it. So shaking. shaking. Jinking anyway, so it's down to two whole points. And D6 guys inside, we've got five. Yep. On twos, that's four. Dead. So that's down to five guys left inside. Yep. Wiven. <laughs> cluster. Gee. Yeah, you're in range of that cluster. Probably not going to do a lot here, but just the fact that you're now clustered her. Eh? Yep. So, I'm not, I'm not, we're going there for four. Right, how are we then? So, we'll do the first shot. I'm going to twin link that. Bang on target. Good. Yep, so that's four. I'm going to twin link that. Eight. Eight. Twelve. Twin linked. And flip, flip for two. Yeah. So, fourteen. Majority toughness of the squad is six. Right, so I need sixes. You need sixes. So I've got yeah. shred. So there's two. And this is shred on the first seven. That's three in total. And I'll roll the seven again. Yeah. It's four, five. Six. six. That's not bad. I'm going to look out to all of these off the Archon. Right. Onto the grotesque. One on the Archon for a two up invert. She passes it. Feel no pain on the grotesques, and I totally forgot about it will not die on them. So that actually kills one with two wounds. Yep. And kill one with three wounds. Just any. Yep. So that's a lot of damage on that squad. Maybe should have tanked that on the two up. Maybe. Is that the, the one you saw only two up? Well, it's a two up until you fail. Yeah. Because she also has feel no pain as well, but yeah. she's toughness three. So she could have survived it. Well, the toughness would have made a difference with the majority of toughness, so... Exactly, so I'd have still gotten the feel no pain. But if I, yeah. roll, if I roll a one, it goes. Yeah. Right, what about your iron priest he's guy? Got, he's got a last pistol, that. Yeah, jink. Hits. Yeah, we need a five. No. Nope. No. Nope. His anger is not enough. Are you charging? Yes. Overwatch. Yeah, nothing else to do. Nothing. So how many, um, in fact, what's your initiative? Three, human. So right. you go first. I have uh, initiative six. And I've got an axe, so you would be going first, blame me. I have one attack base, one for a close combat weapon and pistol, yep. and plus one thanks to my combat drugs. Cool. Weapon skill? I'll check that out. Well, I've hit twice because I've rolled two sixes. Weapon skill three. Oh, I'm weapon skill four, so I actually hit with three yeah. lines. I'm only strength three. So we're going to pause? Nothing. Nothing. Right. Now you kill me. Tech priest. Got one attack. Plus one for charge. Yeah. Power Axe is a specialist, isn't it? Is it a specialist weapon? No. He's also got three attacks. Yes, because he's got last pistol and power axe. Servo arms instead of attacking normally, isn't it? I believe so. Yeah, but I'm gonna use the uh, just use his power axe. Okay. So, so fours. Yep. Yeah. Oh, just one the hit. one. And he's strength four. That's a wound. Feel more pain. Oh, you killed the biker! Yes! Yes! His Trojan is avenged. <laughs> nice. You won't anyone this anywhere. Yeah, uh, just anywhere. So, do you score any points? Secure objective marker three. Yes, you do, because it's got, over here. Yeah, I've got three and I got Scout Scour of the Skies. And he's going to consolidate. Five. No problem. So, let's move on to Dark Aldar, turn five. There is not much left for either of us. I've got a Raider here and a few guys up in that corner which aren't really going to do anything. So, yeah.
Right, so I drew secure objective six, secure objective two, and secure objective marker three. I can't get to three. In fact, I probably could. The radar here, I can move it and turbo boost. Uh, six is there. Is that three? That's three there. That's, That's got three. objective secured on it, so. So I can get the six, and the guys over here are going to be on objective two. Where is your horrible little tech priest? On the side of the wall. Ah. Okay, so movement phase. I've got <laughs> nothing to do other than those guys move around. So if you can, here. yeah, if you could move them around so they can get within charge distance of. Right, so I've moved and then I've just turbo boosted on here. Don't roll a one arm immobilized. That's a three. That's absolutely fine. Meanwhile, over here, I want nothing to do. I'm on objective marker. Where is it? Sir, right by the back ah, door. Right. So I'm right on that. Meanwhile, I've got nothing else to do apart from these guys are going to charge your tech priest. Uh huh. Of course they are. So uh, eleven. Yeah, you're in. Cut to seven there. Minus two, you're in. No problem. So watch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <what? laughs> yes. Hit. Yes. Wound. Ah. I feel no pain passed. Ah. Well, uh, I'm a safe pass as well. I have a lot of. Uh, Attacks now, so I've got five from the Arborition, four from the other two guys each, and then I'd add Urian's ridiculousness. Uh, I believe I don't have grenades, so I'm going at the same time as you. I have to check Urian. I've got axe, I'm going last. Exactly, so I'm going last. Oh, I, going last I have you? Zealot as well. What's your weapon skill? Three. Uh, I believe the Grots are three as well, but Zealot. Uh, for an extra couple of hits. And your toughness three, I am strength five. So two's. Poison, which means I re-roll the ones. Yep. <laughs> Please make uh, three, six, nine armor saves on him. Yeah, there's nine, three pluses. Dead. Yep. Strike back. Go for it. Two attacks, just gonna attack the unit. One hit. You need six. Four on in on urine. Yeah. Done. Wow. And that is gonna be turn for me. So score objective marker six and I score objective marker two. I'm gonna discard objective marker three. Yeah. Right, me two objective cards this turn, a big game hunter, which I can do. And secure objective four, which I've basically got in here with the Hellhound. So let's go on the movement phase. Right, so with that movement phase, Ali has turned all the guardsmen, the plasma gunner, the vendetta, the Valkyrie. This vendetta is pulled back ready to get line breaker if the game ends. And he's got plasma guns, he's got heavy flamers on the uh, chimera here, he's got the Hellhound. It's going to be a lot, a lot of damage going in at this radar. So, do you want to do your orders on the Hydras first? Yeah, I'll do this Hydra here. Yeah. I'll roll the printer, kill a guy, yeah. Yeah, goes off, second one, goes off. Goes off, right. Do both Hydras at that first. Right. Might as well roll them all together. Yeah. You've got so many flamers here, there's no way that right. these guys I'm are going to roll. survive. Can you film this spot here? Because I want to kill a load of stuff and roll that. Wow. wow. Isn't that amazing? All those hits. Paper armor. Oh, look. Go on. The threes are still glances. Yeah, they're glances. Let's see if it explodes. Doesn't explode. Nope. But then the torrent from the Hellhound is going to hear it, so you just want to roll five dice. Yeah. There's five guys left. Two is re-roll on the one. It's strength six, isn't it? Yep. So no fuel or pain? Nope. Dead. There you go. So that kills the entire centre. However... Oh. Oh, crack. There we go. Yeah, lovely. Spiky bits, no reference there. And now, we're just to try and get Slay the Warlord, Ali's going to drop the Small Blast Templar from the Wyvern. Yeah, we're going to use the Wyvern. At these guys here. It's her, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to hit her for three. Yeah. Twin Whoa. link it. We are definitely twin linking that. Direct hit. Right, Smack so link. three, six. Twin link. It's going to flip the switch. Two. Yep. Uh, that's eight. And the last one. Twin link. Splat one for three. For 11. So a majority toughness is now three. Because there's only one grotesque left. Oh, that could change it. Mm-hmm. 
the 8, 9, 10, 11. So we need threes. We shred everything. How many? 11. I have to do. I'm gonna have to do these awkwardly. Let's go look out, sir. Oh. Right. So there's two ones there. So they, them two are on her. I'm gonna have to do these three at a time for the feel no pain on the grotesque. So the grotesque loses one wound. So two more. Loses another wound. Last one. Grotesque dies. There's three left, which is on the succubus for a three up. Uh, bleh, three up for a female pain. She passes one, loses two, so she's down to one wound. And the archon on a two up, she passes. So the succubus is left on one wound, and the archon is left on full three wounds. So unfortunately, you don't score Kingslayer, but you are scoring Linebreaker. Yeah. You also get Big Game Hunter for killing this here. Yep. Um, and you get Secure Objective 4 for being on this one here. Puts you with Line Breaker to 9 points. Because you, you got First Blood as well. Eight. So 8 with Line Breaker and First Blood. Yeah. Right, let's have a quick look. Because I'm actually having a D3. Right, so the score is 8 11 as it stands, as I have line breaker as well. Ali, does the game continue on a 3 plus? No! Oh, back and forth the entire game. Oh, let's have a quick chat about the thoughts of the game. Oh man, I feel like a child. Why? Because just. <laughs> that. That's, like... that's staying in. Look at the size of him. <laughs> the size of him is tiny. I feel like a child. You are. Compared to me. He touched me here. He touched me here. He touched me here. <laughs> I can't leave that in. He can. No. He can. Triggered. Right. There we go, guys. Imperial Guard versus Dark Eldar. It's been nice to get back in the feet of the Dark Eldar. Has it? Yes. You enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot, especially the grotesques charging up that side of the table and going. Rrr. Yeah, I mean, the death strike wasn't going to do a lot. It did what I planned, which is basically you didn't want that going off after last time. You were going to target it. Yeah. Put it on the corner. That was you guys out the way, out the way for the entire game, basically. It was, but they basically cleared that flank whilst oh, yeah. all my lances and everything cleared that flank. They did quite well, they took out a lot of your tanks. Yeah, but then it's paper wrong, isn't it? You know, even rush lists. You, them you Hydras with Ignore about. Cover are horrible, mate. They're, they're amazing, I absolutely love Hydras. Awful. awful. Hydras, Hydras with Ignore Cover are amazing. You ever played Eldar? What, against them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please go new to some Eldar. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was your unit of the game? What did well oh. for you? To be honest, just the Chimera in general, I think. All of them? Yeah, because I mean, I've, I've got one left unscathed right at the end there. But just the damage they all took for having paper armour on yeah. the sides. And you just had to throw everything at them. And I still had one left rolling at the end. Yeah. They absorbed a hell of a lot of firepower. I mean, all of my anti-tank went for them. Yeah. I had to. Yeah. Um, you went for them over the Hydras, which is really what I wanted. I, I couldn't really get them. The Dark Lances were out of range. I didn't want to push further forward because then you'd come in torches with flamers and yeah. rammers. Yeah. It was a case of ha who, who went closer. Um, I, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed the game. It, it, it's been really nice to play the Dark Eldar again. I feel like it's been a while since I've really felt them. Uh, and, and it was nice to... Especially having so much armour, I feel because my personal model collection for Dark Eldar, I don't have that much anti-tank. Anti I've got a couple of blasters, a couple of lances, the Ravager and the Reaper. You did alright for it, I mean, what, you took out a Trojan... In combat with, with, with the Groths, four, yeah. Was it four, five Chimeras? Five Chimeras, mm -hmm. Trojan. Yeah. yeah the Death Strike's still alive in one whole point. <laughs> <laughs> Doing absolutely nothing. Just, you just completely ignored it at the end there, because it just did nothing, you just shot, didn't shoot you, just sat behind the box going... I think unit of the game for me would probably be the Grotesquery again. Yeah. But I love that formation. Yeah. It's so tough to shift. You attach an Archon to the other unit, you know, yeah. the, with Zealot I even got the it will not dies. Yeah, um, and you're toughness 6, basically you saved you. 
Yeah. If you'd been T5, I would have dropped the Death Strike right on you. Straight on them, yeah. But there's yeah. no point. Yeah, that's, that, that's the bonus about the Grotesque route, getting that one extra roll, be it yeah. 4 plus Feel No Pain, be it Rage. Um, yeah, just the little great. bonus I got. Yeah, that toughened a 6 because my Death Strike was then wasted. There was nothing else you could really feasibly target. Mm -hmm. And what did I do? Just knock the engines off that. Big missile, boom. <laughs> <laughs> the engines off. It was unlucky. Yeah. And, and then for it to come back and do two whole points of damage to that Chimera as well. Yeah. Was fantastic. I mean, immobilizing it for me was the best option I could have gotten. Yeah, anything else would have been absolutely spot on for me. Yeah, whether it was ripping your gun off or just stunning you. <laughs> me explode would have been the ideal. One. Yeah, especially with plus three on the chart. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, I went, I instantly went through your armor. Yeah, plus three, and I still didn't explode you. No. Nope. <sighs> shocking stuff, shocking. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the few extra bits of terrain pieces with the bunker, the Aquila Strong Point, the, the Sky Shield Landing Pad. I am painting up more terrain as we go. It's been nice to play on them, not just ruins. Yeah, just to have some fortifications and stuff and have a big area in the middle. I think we need, um, uh, we should do a more themed game. Yeah. More story driven. I think a nice big fortification with the Aquila Strong Point, the bunk at the Sky Shield. I've got a bastion ready to go. Yeah, we'll do some stick story stuff. other things on. Yeah. Definitely do some stories. So, Ali, it's been an absolute pleasure to finally have you back. Yeah. Even though you came back and I deleted the game. Yeah, shocking. So. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it was a great game, really tight all the way, only quite low scoring really. Yeah, and nobody really had any shock and dice roll, the dice no. were all fairly tight. So, that's it folks, I hope you've enjoyed the Battle Report, thanks very much for watching, stay tuned for more Battle Reports, and Ali will be back with more MP.